Hi, I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. This week, early in the morning, uh, we've still been working around Harbor Island. Uh, been using live shrimp or cut manhaden uh, with uh, about a two ounce weight down here in this 20 to 25 foot of water. The redfish have been hanging all around the ferries and around this Harbor Island early in the morning. Incoming tide is always better, uh, slow incoming tide. So if you can get there before daylight, there's a lot of good reds in here mixed in with some um, trout. Uh, trout we've been catching on live shrimp. Uh, if you get on this side over here, uh, you can use a popping cork. Man, it's a pretty decent trout all, all along this docks. Um, it's been real calm, light winds. We've been running out to the surf. The surf has been producing real good fish when you can get out there. Uh, light winds do help. 0.5 to 1 foot seas. Uh, you can get out here on this second to third bar throwing live croaker. We've been getting a lot of good trout all along the surf. Been running down here to the ranch house um, and getting in this second to third bar. Been catching a lot of decent trout all the way down. Um, if you get up tighter, get and where you can throw into that first gut, that first gut with a manhaden or a cut mullet, uh, even croaker been working, but them redfish have been all the way up on the beach. I mean, tight, tight, tight. So early in the morning, work on your red, work on your trout. As it heats up, get in there a little closer. Put you a Carolina rig with a half ounce weight. Get it right up on that beach, and you'll find them redfish. There's been good fish all along the surf right now. Uh, also, them ships out there. Um, seven to nine miles out there have been a lot of kingfish hanging around them them ships also with the ling all these uh platforms that are close to the beach there have been ling on them there have been kingfish so there's a lot of good fish all around near shore right now also there's been light winds it's been good so also if you don't want to get out too far these jetties are still holding good redfish uh, we've been using live shrimp just uh, with the heavy weight where you can drop it right down on top of them rocks. Uh, we've been using cut manhaden, cut skipjack's been working. So a lot of good fish uh, near shore, the surf, around the jetties. Uh, also over here on this other edge early in the morning with live croaker. Been catching some pretty decent trout all along this edge right here back going back towards the marina. So there's still a lot of good fish coming into our bays right now. Those of you that are out there trout fishing, early morning, slow incoming tide. Been using live croaker, just free line them, getting in about three foot of water, throwing up towards the bank. Um, they have been a lot of good trout all along Little Ann Channel, all the way down to quarantine. Uh, just keep working this edge all the way down. Uh, even down over here by trailer has been working real good. You know, as it heats up, they get a little deeper, but there have been trout all the way down to Trout Bayou. Live croaker's been the ticket on that. Early in the morning, uh, if we got some kind of tide, that really helps our fishing. Uh, also, over here on the north end of Mud Island, we've been working out here in this deeper water. There have been trout, um, in abundance all through here on the outside using live croaker if you've got your favorite artificial bait they have been working so uh, get your baits look for the bait that's working the water There's a lot of mullet uh, working all around these areas right now there's manhaden so the fish are coming into these passes working these shorelines and if you just get patient you know, don't work a spot all day, but give it that 20, 30 minutes. Feel confident about where you're fishing. That's the main thing. If you feel like there's fish there, there's fish there. You might have to change up a little bit, but keep working it. Keep moving down, and you'll eventually find that school of fish. Uh, also, all along the edges right now, uh, if you get an outgoing tide and all these little cuts and guts coming out of South Bay, uh, I've been parking right here up on the channel and throwing into these little guts with um, cut manhaden or cut mullet. 
Uh, even cut skipjack have been working. But there's good reds all through here along this channel. Those of you in them shallow water boats, you can come on in and get back here by the back duck blinds. All in this area back in here, there's good fish all on this flat right now. Uh, also, this little creek that's coming out of this back flat, there have been black drum in here. There have been red fish in here. So there's still a lot of good fish uh, moving in and out of these passes right now. So get out there. Find your favorite bait. Fish with confidence is the main thing. And you're gonna find you're gonna find a few fish to to fill the box. If you come around Mustang Island and get in this deeper water early in the mornings with uh, croaker and work this edge of this grass, there have been good trout all along this edge right now. Uh, been running all the way this edge, just working it down. Give it give it 30 minutes, you know, and just keep working it all along um, Shamrock Island here. There have been a lot of good trout through here. Some days they want live shrimp under a popping cork. Some days they want live croaker, just free line. Get up in here, get on these rocks, and you will got little passes that comes in and out of these um, chains of rocks through here. Work the entrances coming into these rocks. There have been good fish through here. There have been mixed in with redfish. So right now there's a lot of trout coming in. Uh, we've been catching a lot of trout, plus the redfish have been mixed in with them. So a lot of good fish running all around here. Uh, also, been coming into Atlantic Cut, into this little cut right through here. It is shallow coming into it. Stay to the far right. Uh, just be careful. If you're not too sure, go in it slow, you know. But once you're into this little cut, it gets to six, seven foot deep. And then I've been working all these chain of islands in this deeper channel using uh, skipjack, cut up skipjack, or cut manhaden, cut mullet's been working, uh, live shrimp under popping cork. Um, just work these edges of these islands. Been a lot of good fish in here. I've also been some black drum mixed in uh, with them fish. So live shrimp's ticket on that, or dead shrimp just with the lead head. And then you can come right back out into where these cabins are at and work these edges through here. It's all deep channel. Uh, black drum been hanging through here. Early in the morning, the trout's been in here. Um, you can just work all these little cuts, and and there's deep enough where you don't have to worry, you know. So get your bait. Look for the bait. And if you find the bait moving around, you're going to find those fish. Uh, when you do come out, and you, there's been a lot of birds working this edge of this shoreline on both sides, uh, there have been redfish through here. There have been um, a lot of good trout. You can wade fish all of this shoreline without any problem. There's been a lot of slicks through here. Um, so there's good fish all around Shamrock right now. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.